Now the second problem which is based on the superposition theorem. For the network shown in the figure, find the current through a 5 ohm register using the superposition theorem. That means we have to find the current through this 5 ohm register. According to the superposition theorem, we have to consider the different sources individually and find out the current through the given branch. So simply first case, in the first case we are considering the 30 volt source acting alone. So consider 30 volt source acting alone. So simply here it is. 30 volt source as it is this is the 30 volt source which is in series with 10 ohm register then this is connected to the 4 ohm register again here it is 5 ohm register which is connected to the 3 ohm register now as you have seen in the first lecture of the superposition theorem when there is a voltage source and we have to replace the voltage source we are replacing it with the short circuit and the current source having the infinite resistance therefore for internal resistance is infinite therefore we are replacing it with the open circuit because the internal resistance of the current source is infinite so simply we are replacing this with the open circuit or we are simply removing the current source so now here we have to find the current through a 5 ohm register and I am considering it is simply I dash. Now here the current which is total current which is flowing from the 30 volt source I am considering it is IT it is coming here at this node and distributed in the two branches. One current is going from the 5 and the 3 and one is from the 4 ohm register so simply here we can use the current division rule because current total current which is distributed in the two branches it is easier to solve the current through a 5 ohm register for that purpose we have to find the it current which is the total current flowing through a 30 volt source we will solve it by simply ohms law i is equal to v upon r here we know the total voltage it is 30 volt and r we are finding like this see here where the 5 and the 3 is in series we are directly adding it so 5 plus 3 it is 5 ohm plus 3 ohm which is equal to 8 ohm so simply this 8 ohm parallel combi sorry, series combination will be in parallel with 4 ohm and this 4 ohm and the 8 ohm parallel combination will be in series with the 10 ohm this is the total current so simply sorry total resistance so simply total current which is equal to V divided by R voltage is the 30 volt divided by the resistance here it is the series combination 5 plus 3 will be 8 this 8 will be in parallel with the 4 so simply 4 parallel with 8 plus this parallel combination will be in series with 10 ohm so simply plus 10 so which is equal to we get total current as 2.3684 ampere is the total current now this total current coming here and distributed in the two branches so current through the 5 ohm which is in the right hand direction so we have to find the current i dash see here the resistance which is in parallel with the 5 and 3 here we are not considering only the 5 ohm register because 3 ohm is in series with the 5 ohm register so we have to consider both the resistances in series for finding the current through a this register or simply current through a 5 ohm register we are considering the 8 ohm register because they are in series so parallel register for this combination is 4 ohm so simply by applying by applying current division rule we get i dash which is equal to the register which is parallel with this combination is 4 so simply 4 divided by 4 plus 8 into the total current so simply which is equal to 4 divided by 12 into total current is 2.368 and i dash which we are getting is 0.789 ampere and here we have to consider the direction the current flowing through the 5 ohm register is to the right hand side so direction is to the right hand now we are considering the 8 ampere source acting alone so simply here i am considering the 8 ampere source acting alone so replacing the voltage source with their short circuit so simply 30 volt source replaced by the short circuit here it is a 10 ohm register then 4 ohm register as it is 5 ohm register as it is 
and 3 ohm resistor as it is and I am considering the 8 ampere source and the voltage source replaced by the short circuit see here here there is no need to find the total current because the total current is given it is 8 ampere here it is I am considering the total current which is equal to 8 ampere which is coming to this node and distributed in the two branches in 3 and the 5 here the current which is coming in or going in, uh, through the 5 ohm register is distributed again in the two branches so there is no need to find the current through the 10 and the 4 ohm register so simply I am taking the parallel combination of the 10 and the 4 and it will be in series with the 5 ohm register so simply the parallel combination of 10 ohm and the 4 ohm is 2.8571 ohm so simply replacing this network like this here it is the parallel combination of 10 and 4 it is 2.85 ohm and which is in series with 5 ohm simply so then this is connected again to the 3 ohm register and here it is the total current which is 8 ampere now we can apply here the current division rule because the total current here it is and distributed in the two branches through the 5 and 2.85 and 3 so simply here it is again the series combination so current flowing through the 5 plus 2.85 is same or 5 and 2.85 is same and current through the 3 is different now we have to find the current through 5 so I am considering it as I double dash and the direction through it is to the left hand side see here when you are finding the current through any branch we have to consider the register which is in the parallel with it in the current division rule so simply by applying current division rule by applying current division rule we get simply I double dash which is equal to the register which is in parallel with this combination is 3 divided by 5 plus 2.85 plus 3 into the total current so which is equal to I get or 3 divided by 3 plus 7.5 8.5 into the total current is I find it out or it is given it is 8 so the I double dash is 2.21053 ampere and the direction through the 5 ohm is to the left hand side now according to the superposition theorem we have to add these two currents this is I dash and I double dash for finding a current through a 5 ohm register so simply I am adding or by superposition theorem by superposition theorem current through a 5 ohm register which is equal to i dash plus i double dash so which is equal to we find it out i dash is equal to 0 0.789 so simply it is 0 0.789 ampere and direction to the right hand side plus I double dash I double dash is 2 point 2 point 2.2.210 ampere and direction to the left hand side so simply here the current I dash and I double dash having the different direction so we are subtracting the current which is having the lower magnitude so simply which is equal to 2.21 minus 0.78 and we are getting it is 1.421 ampere and direction to the final current I5 we are giving the, which is having the higher magnitude so simply higher magnitude is this so the direction through the 5 ohm register is to the left hand side this is the final answer thank you